So, hello, Venkat. Uh, Hi, sir. Good evening. Good evening. And first of all, many, many, many congratulations. And uh, you got a very, very good rank, single digit rank, rank six. So I hope uh, you and your family uh, today are enjoying. Yes, sir. And uh, thank you, sir. Uh, so first of all, I I want to give some introduction about about you. Uh, Mr. Shrikant has completed his M Tech. Oh, sorry, B Tech from NIT Warangal in 2019. then uh, he has taken engineering services plus gate postal study package from 2019 made easy then in gs online batch engineering services 2020 made easy then uh, uh, you have taken the mains batch online 2021 and 2022 both here and interview guidance program also okay yes, and uh, you are working with some company also already and along with the Are working, uh, you are appearing for the engineering services, and uh, uh, you have mentioned that in twenty twenty one you have appeared in the gate exam and you got five forty three rank, yes, and uh, then in twenty nineteen and twenty twenty you have appeared in prelims, but uh, prelims is uh, qualified, but you are not able to clear the mains. In twenty twenty one you have cleared the mains, but interview is not qualified, and then in twenty twenty two you have cleared everything. <laughs> prelims mains <laughs> interview everything and a very good rank and uh, many many congratulations once again so first Thank of you. all i uh, uh, want to uh, know this thing ki how you have managed your time along with the job means uh, those student who are preparing only for the engineering services ya only for the gate exam and they are not doing any job but still their intention that we don't have time we don't have time but you have got a very good rank in the gate also in engineering services also so, so that reminds me one of your point during the mains class so you you were telling that uh, don't think that people who are working are not going to study so they'll be having very minimal amount of time they'll be working very hard so that's what i used to do so my uh, job timing is from uh, afternoon to pm to uh, night 11 o'clock so i have ample amount of time in the morning so mm. our office is from monday to friday i'll be having a half day from monday to friday and full uh, two days of all days on saturday and sunday as well so i think uh, that's ample amount of time to prepare for engineering services hmm. so means according to you continuity is more important yes sir continuity is more important um, hmm. uh, like uh, students have the nature that uh, you need to study hard and you you put lot of effort for a month and after that you hmm. you don't maintain the consistency so mm. the the major point is you need to maintain the consistency in order to crack exams like upsc okay, okay. very good so uh, can you tell us uh, ki uh, what is your strategy for clearing the prelims means uh, what do you want to suggest those who are preparing for the prelims so right? uh, for prelims sir uh, uh, the major scoring point is the mechan uh, the mechanical paper okay, okay. for uh, i mean the subject paper and for the gs there are few select topics like uh, max so mm. that comes both in uh, gate and esc as well so mm-hmm. you can uh, have few subjects that that are already included in the mechanical syllabus like take mm-hmm. the example of project management few topics are already there in the uh, in industrial engineering in, uh, in the industrial engineering and mm-hmm. we have few more topics like material science mm-hmm. so almost 50% of the syllabus is covered there itself mm-hmm. and beyond that you can study some subjects like uh, en- environment and um, so every time i used to skip the current affairs part because uh, the the problem here is you don't know how much to study and uh, mm-hmm. the probability of whatever the things you are studying is coming to the exam is very low compared to the rest of the subjects mm-hmm. so if you are pre- uh, if you are thoroughly clear with the uh, mental ability as well as uh, the math there you can sure shot get 20% of the gs paper okay okay fine so according to you uh, what do you think means what is the safer score for the gs part because i have seen ki so many students are taking tension of gs only means they are not focusing on the mechanical but they are taking tension only for gs so what do you think means already you got a very good rank 6 so means what is your suggestion so i would suggest like if you if you are very good with your mecha- mechanical uh, subjects so you better focus on the mechanical first if mm-hmm. you are thorough uh, mm-hmm. then that will come in handy with the gate and other lots of uh, psu examinations mm-hmm. and also the uh, the the certainty 
to which the answer will be correct is way more in mechanical paper compared to gs paper okay okay fine so and uh, uh, for how many uh, old papers you have uh, practiced uh, for the mechanical prelims Uh, for mechanical year, papers, fifteen years, twenty years, how much? So, uh, I I got the twenty five years um uh, uh, previous year's question pa paper from um uh, Medizy. Mm -hmm. So I used to do it daily uh, on a regular basis. So I used to solve all the questions one by one, and I used to eliminate few questions which were out of syllabus. So, mm -hmm. uh, when I was preparing in my college on my own in back in twenty twenty nineteen, I didn't know that a few subject few topics were removed uh, in twenty seventeen. Mm -hmm. so i was doing those as well <laughs> very good so means uh, uh, you want to say that means you have completed last 25 years paper full mm, yes sir okay and how many times you have revised i think you have appeared four times to so means you <laughs> yes, have sir, revised uh, i think more than 20 times almost 10 <laughs> right now uh, so uh, back in uh, 2020 uh, 2022 mm -hmm. for uh, prelims i prepared for almost one and a half month one month for uh, uh the mechanical paper and a half month for the gs paper okay. so i mean we have a static subject right so if if you are mm -hmm. if you have prepared uh, for uh, this many number of times it it won't take much amount of time um, uh, to prepare okay one thing i uh, uh, i want to uh, i want to know that uh, you uh, what is the, according to you what is the importance of the test series uh, for the exam so uh, test series see uh, first your thorough with your concepts subject everything so mm -hmm. uh, test series comes into play so uh, the motive of giving the test series is not to gain the marks it's mm -hmm. it's it's about assessing what your weak areas are and focusing more on those areas so mm -hmm. whether you are uh, completing the test series i mean exam within the stipulated time limit or uh, uh, so what i found was i was very weak in uh, material science and production sir okay okay so uh and and i was not very interested to uh, study the uh, subject to kind of su subjects okay. so what i did was i i took out all the previous <laughs> years uh, material science and production questions i mm -hmm. i started analyzing and from which concept what kind of questions are coming so i ma i made a note of that and i used to uh, just remember those questions okay so means you want to say ki means uh, the students have to be appear in the test series but don't take it on ki if you are not getting good marks in the test series to means don't get demotivated instead yes, sir, of that, prepare on the weak part means find out your weakness and then work and one more thing you need to assess is am i improving on a uh, daily or a weekly basis like let's say i gave a, te a test series last week and i got yeah. uh, let's say some uh, uh, 150 marks out of 300 so okay. in the next series i i need to make sure that it should be more than 150 hmm. so that should be our primary focus instead of uh, uh, focusing on the 150 mark means uh, continuous improvement continuous improvement continuous sir. improvement is there very good and um, uh, what about the mains uh, what do you suggest means you have uh, attended the es mains batch online two times 2021 and 2022 so what yes, do you think ki, uh, in the mains batch um, you are getting some benefit or Yes, sir. Sure, surely, for people who are working, so they can't go to Delhi for uh, offline classes. Mm -hmm. And what actually used to happen was, I I didn't know like wait what to study. I was just doing the previous previous year's papers, and mm -hmm. I wasn't seeing much pattern. If you if you analyze the uh, previous questions of prelims, you can you can get a uh, complete picture of what what is the pattern of the exam. But means you have fewer number of questions, so you can't get the exact pattern of how the uh, next paper is going to be. so uh, so uh, unfortunately in 2019 there wasn't any online classes mm -hmm. for mains so i had to uh, prepare from previous years and and same for 2020 as well mm -hmm. and 2021 i got to know that they started online cl classes so mm -hmm. i thought this is my chance let me grab it <laughs> that made a huge impact in on uh, how i'm i'm going to study and also so means uh, there is a drastic change in your marks means yes, after attending the mains batch and one more thing what used to happen is in mains uh, i i may be able to answer the question but uh, the time was not sufficient mm -hmm. for me always so mm -hmm. what i did was uh, we used to have classes maybe afternoon right so i I'll, i'll be logging in the morning i used to see the recorded classes i used to um, okay. play the videos at 2x mm -hmm. so i was competing twice as faster like let's say you uh, usually you give out a question right mm -hmm. and after that you ask the students to uh, solve it so i was doing twice as faster the people who are attending online classes mm -hmm. so that created uh, the 
increase in speed in my examination sir that helped a lot actually very good uh, but i want to say one thing ki those students will see this video in the future uh, why uh, shrikan is uh, seeing the recording in the morning because he is working also okay <laughs> yes, so 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 if you are preparing only if you are not working then you have to attend the live online because in that case you can uh, ask your doubts in the online session also itself mm, okay yes, sir. for other students uh, but and i you, uh, i attended i mean uh, uh, since i have given mains already twice mm -hmm. so i have a pretty fa fair picture of on what what the subjects i am strong at mm -hmm. and what mm -hmm. subjects i i need to attend online so i'll try to attend most of the uh, my week subjects online so that okay. i can get my uh, uh, queries fixed let's say i'm i'm very strong in uh, uh, power plant and rac so <laughs> your subject sir thank you so sir. i used to uh, i used to see the recorded recorded mm -hmm. classes mm -hmm. but uh, if you take the what as mentioned earlier if you take the example of material science production mm -hmm. i i was i was very weak in those subjects so uh, mm -hmm. i i'll try to attend those classes online so that i can get my queries fixed during the class itself so now we will come on the last stage that is interview so sure. you have appeared in the interview um, in the uh, in the mock interview also yes sir. actually oh. last year i have uh, attended one live mock interview hmm. and uh, and one offline mock interview but uh, I, this year because of uh, uh, geographical uh, constraints oh, so okay. i i was okay. not able to attend the offline mock interview hmm. okay so uh, thank you so much uh, for the session and for the useful information which you have shared so in the last uh, just uh, we will conclude so if you want to say anything though to the students those who are preparing for the exam uh, and almost 40 45 days are left for the next engineering services so any final comments from you so uh, if if you are uh, so let's make sure one thing so try to gain as much marks as possible in the mechanical paper because you for each question you have the same weightage for gs and mechanical so in gs there are few topics like uh, mathematics aptitude and uh, project management quality and um, uh, i think environment is also a scoring subject mm -hmm. so try to cover these subjects first instead of going to current affairs so mm -hmm. people what i used to uh, think is current affairs is a new very new thing for me mm -hmm. let me concentrate on this so mm -hmm. they are they are forgetting the fact that mostly all of the subjects are equally distributed you need to uh, score as much as possible where you are strong and uh, tr try to get on to the weak parts at the later stage mm. so that's that's what i used to do and i would suggest the other uh, students as well to do the same so thank you so much uh, shrikan uh, mm, you have shared you, so many useful information and uh, wish you a best of luck and uh, i wish that you will become ias also and then <laughs> and uh, we will meet again in the interview and a topper talk so thank you sure, sir sir thank you sir have a good day